Come on in. Hello everybody and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am about to give you a tour of my favorite Numar product. Um, well, of course, next to the King Air. So this is the little sister. Um, again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. This is a live video. If you are interested in referencing it later on our Trans West Truck Trailer RV YouTube station, look for 5N201629. Um, on that note, let's go ahead and start from the back. Okay, so this is one of my very favorite RVs. And the reason is, this is the 2022 Numar New Air. And uh, the, the crown jewel of Numar is the King Air. Well, if that is the crown jewel, then this is the little baguettes that go all around that jewel. Uh, this is a 35 foot coach with 450 horsepower and 1,250 foot-pounds of torque. This little monster will get you up and down those mountains, tow all of your trailer behind you easily. Uh, and it's got a 10,000 pound towing capacity, uh, but it's short. She has park access to all the little parks, and then she's just long enough at 35 foot, 10 inches, to get into the country clubs across the United States. So all of the great features um, in the King Air are translated uh, via some very special nuances that you'll find in the 2022 New Air. First and foremost, take a look at this beautiful uh, mink rift oak finish. So this finish is uh, the suede finish. This is a standard feature uh, on the King Air for 2022. And this is the first time we've actually seen this color available in, uh, in the New Air. And I had a few people ask questions about the quality of this oak wood last, uh, last week. And I'll tell you, the quality of the construction is spectacular. So starting over here on the right hand side of the bed, we'll look underneath and notice that there's a 110 outlet as well as a USB port. And then there's a little sliver above that door that allows you to run your cords out of this pocket and then through onto your nightstands, which is really, really nice. Uh, you'll also notice that throughout the coach, we're going to have some really nice high and upscale features. For instance, these beautiful sconces. Um, I love these new square windows, which are very much a signature of the 2022 King Air as well. Uh, so these square windows are really beautiful. You'll notice there's very few coaches that we have a window above the headboard. So that's just a wonderful feature. Um, up above, as you would normally expect, we do have all of our carpet lined storage. So this is really well done. There are uh, 110 outlets above as well as a grommet that would go through. So if you needed to run any electronics from the top to the bottom, you could. Um, but so just really, really solid construction. I love the look of this RV. Um, and one of the other things that you'll notice about this is not only do we have this beautiful tufting throughout the headboard, but also we've got a lovely tufted cathedral ceiling. So the height in this RV is very, very roomy and comfortable. Um, so, like I said, this is one of the nicest bedrooms that you can have, and this is in a little munchkin, a 35-foot RV. Now, the new Air is the little sister to the King Air, and the new Air only has three 35-foot floor plans available for 2022. We used to make a lower horsepower 33-foot coach. We only make the three 450-horsepower RVs currently. Um, now let's take a look inside of this closet. So not only do you have substantial room, I also have the safe. Um, I did open this. I've had a few requests to see how much room is inside of there. So plenty of room for your diamonds, your gold, and your silver. Beautiful. Love that. Uh, you'll notice also that when I open the cabinet door, the LED light comes on automatically. Oh, and I want to move this chair over, Jody, just so we can show everybody. So I do have one of the chairs up front, just so you can see when we expand that dinette, uh, your seating room, but really nice to have the shoe cubbies here. And then as you'll notice on the left hand side here, we have all of our uh, circuit breakers, extra fuses, very nicely organized. And then access to hot and cold water is right here for the washer and dryer. So I just love the fact that they've made such a, qu a clean, execution of space here. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and lock this by sliding this little plastic piece down that locks that in place. And then I wanted to show you next our Splendid washer and dryer. Uh, one of the nice features about this washer and dryer, first of all, is that it's in the bedroom. So it's really convenient to be able to do your laundry and have a place to fold right here. But not only do you have a place to fold, you've got really nice settings here where you can do, for instance, uh, everything digitally. So this is a higher end Splendid, Splendid washer and dryer. So you've got delicates, jeans, um, permanent press, all the different things that you would hope to have in a residential washer and dryer at home. So very nice feature there as well. Now today we are running uh, our air conditioner off of generator power. We have two air conditioning units on this RV. Uh, both have heat pumps as well, but we also have a dual loop Chinook system. And what that means is not only do you have a tankless water heater, but you also have two loops. So you've got better hydronic heating throughout the coach. Now for those of you who aren't familiar, the hydronic heating is going to be uh, an antifreeze that runs through a tube underneath the coach and then it pushes hot air over that tube and warms the vehicle. Now, in addition to that warming feature, you also have a beautiful heated floor. So this is a three zone heated floor as well. Um, this is a lovely matte porcelain tile. It's absolutely gorgeous. And as you'll note, we have an absolutely decadent looking uh, TV here. Well, this is a huge 4K television. Now, in the 2022 model, you'll notice that we have HDMI pugs, but we don't have a Blu-ray uh, Blu player here. So. For 2022, just given the advent of so many people using Netflix and Hulu, we will go ahead and, and we've omitted that cost, uh, but you're welcome to plug one in and it's all wired for you, so very easy. Uh, this also has a SK300 in motion, high definition satellite uh, dish on top of it. That's one of the optional features that we've included. So if you are a fan of having the receivers, we've got it all wired for you as well. Now take a look at these drawer space. So one of the things I've had people ask in the past is, are these full extension? And the answer is yes. So when you're limited in your space while traveling, it's really important to be able to have easy access. So full extension, soft close. Again, this is the, the mink rift oak uh, suede finish. But what I really love about this is what a nice place to be able to sit down, take your socks out, You've got your shoes out of your little shoe cubby in the back, and you've got a place to get dressed in the morning where you can sit down and put your shoes on and off very easily. Um, and I think it's nice that you don't actually have to have uh, a chair in this bedroom. You actually have a great place to sit all on its own. Uh, we have added for 2022 an emergency exit across from the bed. So this is an emergency exit. This window does open. And then Jody, I don't know if you can go down, but I have expanded our carefree awning system. So this has the additional package. So it's got two extra awnings. And this little awning could be out if you didn't have your two Nova awnings out in addition. And what's nice about this is it's got little LED lights up below it, so it gives you a little bit of illumination so you can see out the window and also protects you from the sun on a hot day. Today it's really nice. It's only about 82 degrees here in Colorado, so we're pretty excited about that. Um, I will show you this one last cabinet because I think it's important if you're trying to budget for your space to see what you have here. But once again, in true Newmar quality, uh, the, in Napanee, um, the Amish take such pride in craftsmanship. These cabinets are so nice, so solid, so durable feeling, um, but plenty of room there. And then you'll notice here we have some additional features that we didn't have last year. So we have an all lights off switch right here. So if you touch this all lights off switch, you can turn off all of the lights in your coach, not only from here, but there's a second one underneath the headboard as well. So, or above the headboard and underneath the nightstand as well. So two places where you can turn everything on and off in your RV. Well, that's convenient, right? Well, hold on, let's go ahead and change the news. This RV has a feature now where you can actually download an app and control your lights from your phone. This is so cool. This is something that we've all been waiting for. We're really excited about it. Um, but if you didn't know, it's true. It's one of those reasons that you might want to wait to get a 2022 over a 2021. That's a big, big deal. Um, being able to lock and unlock your baggage compartments from your phone. Wow, how cool. Check your water tanks. I mean, look at your solar feed. So this RV has four 100 watt solar panels. So super, super convenient to have phone access and that's an all new feature for 2022. Now, Jody, I'm gonna go ahead and show everybody how lovely this door is because I think that this is definitely a selling feature. Look at how gorgeous that is with that tufted leather. Um, now, this Williamsburg furniture is absolutely decadent, uh, but somebody asked uh, recently if it was 
all leather or if it was synthetic. And I would like you to know the only way you get all leather is to buy the crown jewel. That would be in the King Air. So this is a synthetic offering, but it is absolutely wonderful handle, very soft to the touch, and just absolutely lovely. It's, it's, it's interlaced, you know, around our ceiling features here, hiding all of our ducts and returns for our air conditioning. It's also, you know, over here above uh, your dresser on the left-hand side, tufted into this Mink Rift Oak once again. So just absolutely decadent. Um, this RV is really second to none. Uh, now, one of the reasons I really like this uh, model is I love um, all the space that it has inside of it. So Jody, I'm gonna show everybody out uh, in the hallway. If you don't mind, I'll show them what's underneath the bed. Uh, now this is a sleep number mattress and you do have under bed storage. But you also have some really cool features. So there's the pump for the sleep number, but right here are your table extensions. And of course, these are still wrapped. They'll match everything else throughout the coach, but it's really nice because I brought the chair out to show you, you could really very easily have four people here for dinner. And what's nice about this space is the way that you're able to garner all of this extra space is having a single mid bath. So Jody, if you wanna take a look in that bathroom, let's start there. Before I get in and show that teak shower bench, I'd really like you to kind of show off how beautiful this tile is. So to have a full tile uh, inlay uh, throughout the entire bathroom is absolutely gorgeous. But all of these, um, all of these subway tiles are chrome lined with this beautiful, with this beautiful glass undermount vessel sink. And then you can kind of see the sparkle here in that countertop. I mean, the King Air is really, really spectacular with all of its granite, but this lovely uh, Corian countertop that we have is second to none. It is just beautiful. And then I'll also show you, so I have this set right now, so we can use the light switch to dim, so we could go up and down with our lighting, but I hadn't turned on the mirror light yet, so I think that that's this one, is that where I'm at? Yep, that's it, here we go. So take a look at that, talk about, so you already have a vanity light, but if you want that extra light, which is so important when you're getting ready to go somewhere, it's amazing. And it's still a beautiful medicine cabinet. It has the plug as well, so you can keep your flat iron and your, and your hair dryer in here as well. Lots of space for, you know, suntan lotion, bug spray, hair spray, all of your products. And then I love the Dometic Touchless Flush as well as look at all this drawers or this counter space that you have to put towels in. So a ton of storage space underneath, just making really great use of a compact RV. Look at all that space, it's absolutely decadent. And then of course we've got a 110 outlet here, a towel rack here, and then up on the wall we also have our beautiful, we have a, a robe hook. Now in our shower, this is so beautiful. Oh, shall I go in? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I love the teak bench. And but more importantly, this is real tile and I love the way they got the separation. Um, so this is a very high end feeling shower, of course, with the fixtures that are given. Also, you've got shampoo, conditioner and body wash and a really convenient place to sit if you want to shave your legs, wash your feet at the end of a long hike. And then your Aquaview uh, recycled water system. So what your Aquaview water system does, you have a 105 gallon freshwater tank in this RV. You have a 60 gallon gray water tank and a 40 gallon black water tank. So lots and lots of capacity. But with that 60 gallon gray water tank, you can actually set this so that when you turn it on until it actually illuminates, it's heating up the water and recycling it. And what's nice about that is then you're not wasting that gray water. You're not filling up that tank unnecessarily. And you're also not wasting your fresh water either. So really, really cool feature. Um, and then I'm gonna step aside. Jody. I wouldn't mind if you could just show off this linear drain and I love this tile floor. So this mud set tile floor is something you're only gonna find in an RV of this caliber. And of course, uh, one of the reasons I love this new air, we, of course we have a fantastic fan in here as well. So all of the things that you would hope for. And then I'm gonna go to my shade control and I'm gonna go ahead and drop my day shade. So lots of privacy. Uh, you've got all power shades throughout the coach. Um, really, really luxurious and just a beautiful execution of, uh, of space and function in this RV. Now here in our kitchen, lots of cabinet space, 
of course oh shoot Jody we didn't put everything out <laughs> Here we go. So everything is uh, in these really nice rubber shelves and they, they're soft clothes and then carpet lined as well the whole way through so no rattles. And then uh, this new Samsung microwave and convection oven is new for 2022 as well. Absolutely beautiful. Plenty of room in there. Um, I do have some folks that will say, oh, I really wish I had a wall-mounted oven. Well, this is a wall-mounted oven. This is a convection oven. You can bake cookies in here. Uh, you could bake biscuits. Uh, you could also change it and use it as a microwave oven and make a microwave burrito or, you know, warm up something, you know, some leftover, something along those lines. So really, really nice execution there as well. And then below that you find, again, this chrome-surrounded glass backsplash. It's absolutely beautiful. I just love that. And here I'm showing... Um, a, cu a cutting board in here and I just wanted to point out if you are smart you can get a, s a slightly shorter cutting board I have the other one stowed underneath now this is a cutting board as well so Numar does provide you with two cutting boards in the coach but they're so nicely integrated they're flat so if you were to put your cell phone down here while in transit it'll fly right off the counter but just having that little bit of space here will keep your phone from flying off the edge and I also wanted to point out this True Induction cooktop. So True Induction um, has a really nice uh, feature where you can set this uh, so this oven, or sorry, stove top so that it could go by temperature or by settings, one through five. Um, I was really, really impressed with mine. Um, so I went in and I'm actually building a new house and I thought I was gonna get a really fancy gas stove. And I said to the guy, I said, you know, I, I have a True Induction in my RV and I really like it. I use it with this like all clad copper core pan and he said, hold the phone, let me show you something. And he came over and he put a paper towel down and he measured out two pots, put the same amount of water in both and put one on gas and put one on this true induction cooktop. Not only did the paper towel not light on fire, making this a huge safety feature, uh, but it also boiled in about a third of the time as a really special high-end, you know, best cone gas stove that they had to offer. So I went ahead and changed course and I'm actually gonna have a uh, full five burner uh, true induction cooktop in my new house as well. Uh, if you haven't tried this before, I know there's a lot of people that are really, you know, kind of they speculate that this may not work as well as what they're used to with their propane unit, but this is an all electric unit. This has got 400 watts of solar on it and it is an absolute delight to cook in. So if you haven't tried it before, please stop by. I'd be happy to give you that same demonstration here. Um, oh, one last thing before I put this back. So this is removable. Um, so I've had some people say, are you kidding me? No, not at all. So you can really just lift this out. Well, usually it's pretty easy. Oh, there it goes. Uh, lift this out, take it outside, and then you can use this to make all of your bacon or fish, anything that might be kind of smelly uh, can go outside. So you can have just that one set of pots and pans on your, in your RV. And that's big a uh, big savings of space. So you don't need to have an exterior kitchen set. You can actually use that same dish set for both inside and outside because you can bring your cooktop out with you and you don't have to have that little Coleman stove anymore. Um, so down here we have a huge uh, either utensil drawer, silverware drawer, whatever it is that you might want to use it for. A ton of space here. Once again, that full extension is such a nice, uh, nice attribute to our furniture. This is a great place to stow any of your larger bowls, pots and pans. You could even keep your silverware in here. So really nice dishwasher. And then again, these full extension drawers throughout. So really, really nice. Great place to keep spatulas, you know, whisks, whatever you want. Maybe some uh, little of those oven mitts. So just a great use of space there. And then here underneath, plenty of room for your uh, you can see I've got that cover we had mentioned. So you've got all the room for the covers there. And then any of your cleaning supplies. I love this attribute that we integrate into almost all of our RVs. A great place to keep your sponges and bottle brushes. And then before I get to my favorite feature of the day, I'll show you our little pullout for our trash can. A nice little place to keep your trash bags. But take a look at this sink. How stunning is this? I love this big barrel sink, round with a finish on the edges. Of course, you've got your residential faucet. I mean, this really sets this kitchen off. 
as does, let's go ahead and do this now, take a look at the size of this kitchen window. It is stunning. So if you can imagine, you're sitting there making breakfast in the morning and you have a view of Glacier National Park or you're somewhere you know, up in the Sierras, wherever it might be, like what a decadent uh, level or uh, amount of light coming into the RV and how much viewing space you have for the great outdoors. Now I have had some folks ask questions about outlets. So I wanna cover that quickly. There's one here and then there's another right here and then Jody, if you want to go back into the bedroom, I'm going to show another one. So if you go back right here on the right hand side of this window, there's another outlet. And why is this important? Because if you have a computer and you want to charge it during the day, it's nice to be able to have outlets throughout the coach. So you can go ahead and come back up front now. And then I've got another two to show you. There's another outlet. Uh, right here, is it right, right inside there? They're so hard to find. I really had to stop and look for them. Did you find it? Is it there? Am I fibbing? Oh, maybe if it. If oh, it's right here. There we go. There it is. Sorry, folks. I told you I had to really search them out. Somebody had asked about the outlets, and I thought, oh my gosh. Let me show everybody. And then there's one more right here. So when you get inside there, there's another one. So these are all of the outlet placements throughout this coach, which I think are super, super cool. Now that's gonna lead us to the very important part of this, of this uh, galley. Also, we have our central vac. And then a ton of dry storage here and our lovely credenza. And I mean, how many RVs have you seen that have real glass doors, real glass shelves for your, all of your you know, top shelf liquors or maybe your special wine glasses, maybe some art that you'd like to keep on display? I mean, it's just nice that you can really move into this RV and make this feel like home. Um, and when I say like home, some of the things that really matter. So we push in to release. Full extension Revis shelf pantry. Look at this, six shelves tall, all adjustable, all lit. I can't reach that one, I'm vertically challenged. Uh, but I mean, what a nice pantry. And of course, like this kitchen is really outfitted so that you can do some really wonderful gourmet cooking or just have like a nice hamburger and salad. I mean, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. And on top of that, look at this refrigerator. Beautiful three-door Samsung refrigerator. Tons and tons of room. I love that you even have your cheese drawer. Um, of course, everything here is once again very residential. You've got your humidity control on both. A huge, uh, gigantic uh, freezer with an ice maker. Uh, deep bin storage underneath. Just really, really, really nice. So, I mean, this kitchen is completely set up for somebody who wants to get out on the road and really do some uh, nice camping and eat really well. This is a very, very well-suited RV. So on that note, we talked a little bit about this dinette and I wanted to show you, if you were to extend this all the way, you could actually take these are the chairs that come. These are, I had one in the closet. I wanted to bring one out just to show you that you could really very comfortably have um, four people here having dinner and have plenty of room. So this is a very, very nice um, dinette area. And I love um, that these are made out of a nice durable material. So they'll be easy to clean and take care of. Uh, these chairs are also all new for 2022. So we have never seen this design before. And then the more floor that you see here below is what allows us not to have carpet in our dining area. So that more floor is a really, really big deal. Um, it really changes the way everything works. Now on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and show you if you were having a party and you were maybe not watching TV or watching the news at night, you could come in here 
just push a little button, go to systems, and put your TV lift down. And this buffet would be a really great place to put out some chips and salsa, some dip, whatever it was that you wanted to use during your entertaining. And if it was just wanting to sit there and take advantage of the beautiful views, you've got these lovely ottomans. Now this is the tabletop and this is the cushion top. So they both look great. But as you put the tabletop up, you've got, of course, a really nice place to be able to sit back and relax. Now on that note, let's talk about sleeping accommodations. Now we all know the rules in the RV world. Six for drinks, four for dinner, two to sleep. Well, we won't tell anybody, but you can sleep very comfortably four people in this RV. So in a lot of our new airs, we will opt for the theater seating. Now, if you have not seen uh, Newmar's theater seats, whew, you're missing out because they are scrumptious. All that being said though, if you like to be able to bring the kids and there's inclement weather, it's really nice to know that you have a good backup plan. And this bed is a really, really good backup plan. I love this. See, there's that pesky outlet. Nice and easy to find, Jody. Okay, so take a look. This is huge. This is a really, really nice big bed. Now, I know what you're thinking. Katie, with all of this huge expanse of windows, there's no way anyone could sleep here. Well, let's fix that. Let's go ahead and do our nightshades take a look at how cool this is. So I love these KIB switches where you can actually control everything with the touch of one touch of the button. Super simple, really easy. All the shades are down. Maybe it's just, you know, theater mode, time to watch a movie. Maybe it's time for everyone to sleep in. You've had a long hike the day before. Don't want to wake up at the crack of dawn. Uh, whatever it may be really really nice uh, setup here uh, there's also more storage up above so and again I want to make sure I mention uh, the quality of these cabinets and just the texture of them they're not going to have fingerprints they're so easy to clean they're so bright and cheery this is such a really welcoming galley I love 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 this RV now I am going to go ahead we always turn our ottomans upside down when we put them on the couch so that they don't put little leg holes or indentions in all of the seats. But I'm going to put this back. I want to go ahead. Um, a lot of times I forget to show you what this RV looks like when it's all closed in, but one of the nice things about having this mid bath feature on the 3545 is that you have really good walking space the whole way through the coach, even when it's closed up. So this amount of space that you see here in front of me, this is, you know, really, really roomy. And it's very easy to get in and out. So even when we pull the slide in, um, it's a great walking space. So for those of you who like to travel with your furry friends, your little furry pets will have plenty of room. And again, you'll notice we're running this whole entire RV off of the air conditioners or off of the generator. So the AC is really doing a nice job at keeping us cool today. Please note that the only RV that we make that you can run off of generator or run air conditioners off of generator power alone is going to be the King Air. So that's just an important feature. But I wanted to show you some of the information that comes up here on this screen. Jody, come on through. Let's just walk through a little bit of this because there's some really nice features. For instance, your doorbell rings at night. Well, who's there? Change your camera view. You can kind of cycle through. See who's outside. See who's behind you. So really, really cool that you can see all of this information right here on your main panel. Also, you've got your floor heat. Uh, you can turn your block heater on. If you need a block heater, you should probably go somewhere warmer. Just kidding, I'm sure that that would be nice. Um, climate control, uh, tank capacity, you can operate your generator here as well. So I could turn that off. Uh, there's your power. And then you can see 
everything from this home screen. So it's just nice. You have this one here, and then you also have one up front as well. Um, and I'm sorry, there's so much to cover. I really hope um, that I hit on all of the questions that people ask. Um, I did bring out just a picture um, of the construction. So um, for those uh, construction questions, I have a lot of uh, diagrams like this that will show uh, the construction quality, uh, the floors on this RV, the way that they're assembled, um, the aluminum construction uh, that we have, the residential style construction, the way that we set our windows, um, the fiberglass that we use. So I have like a one hour to 45 minute presentation I could cover with you. I also have all of the new features and product changes for all of our models. But please note that the new Air has by far the longest list of updates. So this is a life cycle change for the 2022 Numar. Uh, so really nice that we have um, you know, everything kind of highlighted and laid out for you here. But if you have questions, please tune in and let me know. Uh, if, you, if you leave me your email, I'll always get back to you and, and cover everything. Um, the suggested MSRP of this vehicle is $537,250. And as I mentioned, it's very well equipped. We're looking at both the Sparta decor on the interior as well as the Sparta decor on the exterior. And the Mink Rift Oak Hardwood with suede uh, with a suede finish. So just beautiful. Um, but if you've got any questions, we can cover all of that. Now what we're going to cover next is going to be covered on this page. So the new Air is a really unique vehicle for a lot of different reasons. One of them is because of the fact that it's got 450 pa horsepower and a really tiny offering. Um, but more importantly, it has things like Comfort Ride, it has V Ride, it has Road Watch, Drive Tech, it has Brake Sync. Uh, if it's a Spartan, or I'm sorry, if it's a Freightliner chassis, this uh, new Air is available on a Spartan chassis. This new Air was built on a Freightliner chassis, which gives it this really cool brake sync. Uh, brake sync, basically, if your air brakes go out, your RV stops, but the vehicle behind you doesn't. This actually has a second brake cylinder that's charged and ready to go, so you can still actually brake your tow vehicle. Super cool. Um, the independent suspension, uh, once again, this is the Cummins uh, L9, 450 horsepower engine, 1,250 foot-pounds of torque, 10,000 pound towing capacity. It has the Allison transmission, uh, 90 gallons of diesel, 15 gallons of DEF. I mean, absolutely amazing. But I think one of the most important things, you know, we've got this 60 degree front wheel cut, so it gives it a really amazingly small turning radius. But V-Ride and Comfort Drive steering are really second to none. So V-Ride actually works. Uh, we have a video online. If you'd like me to email you a link through to it, we actually put a Dutch Star and a Ventana um, side by side. We put one up in the air to show you how that V-Ride works, but it keeps your coach from tipping. And then Comfort Drive is adjustable on the dash. You can set it for as uh, much resistance as you'd like, but the propensity is to keep the wheel straight. So if you've got a pusher like this, um, your generator's in the front, right? And your diesel engine's in the back, so it's pushing you forward. And if there's a lot of wind, sometimes you know, you're know you driving this big non-aerodynamic brick through the atmosphere. That wind can really affect you, and you feel yourself kind of fighting all the time trying to keep straight. And it makes you tired. I mean, it really engages driver fatigue. This RV, coupled with V-Ride and Comfort Drive steering, is going to be the biggest game changer. If you haven't driven a Numar, so anything with the Star Foundation, so any of our diesel pushers on up are going to come with Comfort Drive steering and the Star Foundation. I really encourage you, if you haven't driven one before, before you make a purchase, come out and see us. We've got a great frontage road. We've got tons of mountains really, really close by. We've got lots of flat land. Our really nice in a little area called Frederick, Colorado, which isn't heavily impacted by society yet. So we've got great you know, back roads that you can drive down and country roads. So if you want to get a feel for how this works, you can, and we also have I-25 right off of our exit. So if you want to get on the freeway and see how that feels in a bad storm, uh, in the afternoon we typically get some kind of monsoon moisture coming through, so I could offer that to you as well. Uh, but really a big, big difference maker for us. Uh, now here, again, huge storage. I love that you could probably fit a few uh, board games in here, maybe a cribbage set, Monopoly, whatever it is that your family likes. Of course, we've got our Bose sound bar, which is Wi-Fi. And then again, 
for all of our audio video stuff, you'll notice that we do have our uh, HDMI receiver cords, but we don't have Blu-ray in here. So if you'd like to add Blu-ray, you're welcome to. Uh, this does have standard, the Razer antenna, and then, uh, of course, as I mentioned earlier, it does have the upgraded uh, Wi-Fi uh, or SK300 satellite system. I just want to show you these. Oh, gosh, Jody, they're going to be way too tall for me to, to reach. Yeah, oh, so speaking of too tall for me to reach, not only is this guy short, it's also short. This is a petite coach from a height standpoint as well. So just another wonderful attribute. Um, here's your wine guard system up here. Great place for the drivers. You know, if you want to keep a bin up here that has all your sunglasses in it, whatever it might be, maybe some bug spray. Um, I can't wait. I'll show you where we keep the doggy leashes and the, uh, and the pet food in a few seconds. Okay, so now I have central control, right? This is the motherboard. So this is how I'm going to bring my slides in. Now keep in mind, I did turn our generator off, so now we're just running off of our inverter and it's running off of our solar charge. Um, our air conditioning is off, but all of our um, refrigerator would continue to run. We would still be able to charge our, uh, our uh, mobile devices and computers, so all of your outlets would still work. And again, I think that you know one of the things to note is that you really have a huge difference maker in having um, solar on an RV these days. It's a big, big difference. Now, if I could, one thing I want to mention is here. So here is um, another big differentiating factor in uh, Numar versus our competition. So of course we have Freightliner and Spartan's number right here. We have Numar right here. We have Nupar. This is how you get parts quick. Very, very organized. Uh, very much uh, dealer centric. They know uh, when someone needs something, they need it quick. They're very quick on response. Nugal is going to be like Google. So not only do you have access to all of the Numar articles, all of the things that you might need to read about how to put a slide up or maybe to extend your hydraulic jacks, um, but you also have a link through to Google itself. And then Chad Ramsey is our Numar customer brand specialist. And he is the new air specialist. So Chad knows all about this RV. So you can email him or call him. And they actually have a phone that forwards after hours. So if there's an emergency, they can get right back to you and let you know what's going on. Uh, here we've got, of course, our power window. So our power driver window is really nice. Um, somebody had asked me last week if you could open up the windows so you could get some fresh air in here. And the answer is absolutely. Um, power mirrors left and right as well as heated mirrors um, of course up here you'll see we have this all new beautiful glass dash uh, I did want to spend some time and just go over a few things here so fuel economy for instance you can see how much gas you have and then here you can also see your uh, road watch right so road watch is going to help you with your cruise control with your intelligent high beams so you've got high beams that go up and down automatically uh, and then here you're going to have vehicle configuration down here at the bottom, steering effort. This is going to be uh, where you're going to have that comfort drive. So you can set that to, depending on how much wind is, in, is on you when you're driving, you can change that. And then also you're going to have, there we go, cruise control. So here you can choose uh, your automatic cruise control. So not only do you have mobile eye, which is a lane tracking device, New in 2022, if you veer out of the lanes, it will vibrate your seat. But you also have this wonderful cruise control where you can choose to either have a 3.3 3 .3 or 3.6 or 3.6 second following distance. And what that means is you can choose, for instance, if you're on an open road to follow someone further behind. And if you're in highway traffic, you can go a little bit closer. So all of this is designed to really help with driver fatigue. And then here, I don't know if Jody, you can see this, but I don't have the engine on, I just have the accessories on. We have our stock control for our transmission. So still that Allison transmission, but stock control is super nice. And then you also have your engine brake as well. So all of that's right here on one stock. Same thing goes, you've got your phone control here. Uh, new for this year, we also have our uh, new nav system. So no more Rand McAnally. Uh, this has absolutely been a really big hit with everybody. And then I love these 10-inch screens. 
And I also really, really like that when I go here to camera control, I love this feature where I can see all around me. I can see if my bay doors are open. I can still see behind me. And you can leave this on while you're driving. So really, really nice that you have all of that control. We also have a digitally controlled uh, HVAC system for, uh, for the driver. And there's also controls now on the passenger side. I'll show those to you in just a minute. So super cool here. Um, I do have nice drawers here. And as you'll see, since I don't have to read as much, we're gonna go ahead and change gears. I'll put my sunglasses on and I'm gonna grab the controls for my awnings. Now, um, as I mentioned, we do have our carefree awnings out currently. Uh, we have our slides pulled in, um, but Jody, if you don't mind, I'm gonna trade places with you. I wanna show everybody the walking distance that we have while going down the road. So if you are buying an RV, um, for those of you that have had fifth wheels historically, I know that they're addicting because Lower price point, kind of nice. You can park them, not really think much about them. But take a look at this. If you wanted to go camping, but you had an eight hour drive ahead of you, you are driving your apartment down the freeway. This is like having a place in Manhattan on the road and totally easy access into the bathroom. So plenty of room to cook, plenty of room to prepare food, full access to your refrigerator, um, full access to your microwave, uh, full access to your shower. And uh, for those of you who are wondering, yes, you can microwave things while you're driving. You can cook things while you're driving. You can wash laundry while you're driving. So um, we do a lot of laundry in between trips. You can get everything done in eight hours. Uh, so if it hadn't occurred to you to do that before, please note that that's a feature now. Now, before we go here, I wanted to also show um, comfort. Look at that lovely, uh, recliner. Now these both turn around, but this recliner, if you were to tilt it towards the television, you could have uh, a nice recliner to watch TV. Uh, you, the husband or wife could be laying here on the couch having a glass of wine, maybe with one of the puppies. Super, super comfortable. And then on top of it, there's this little, uh, this little attribute here where you can actually put a desk in here. So you could sit there and work during the day and put a desk right here on your recliner. And then as you know, we have the, oh shit, honey, we just lost the Jeep camera. Uh, it's also good for navigation. I told you to get on with that last exit. Just kidding, <laughs> that never happens. Um, <laughs> and I love our step cover, great step cover. And then again, uh, if we're looking for cross ventilation in this cabin, really nice to note that you have it here. Uh, all you've got to do is open the window it's nice and screened in. Again, we have another 110 uh, outlet with two USB ports right here as well. And then we have that uh, climate control on the passenger side. And then we also have a wireless charging dock here as well as a cup holder. And then we have our power baggage door lock. So you can lock and unlock these all with one fell swoop right here. And we also have, this is where we turn our house batteries on and off as well. And then as we come out here, I love that this will illuminate at night so you'll be able to see where the front door to your coach is. And then you've got a locking mechanism as well as a doorbell right here as well. But this is one of my favorite features. So right here, what a great place to keep all the dog food and then water dishes and leashes. Like how smart is that? And of course, there's a nice grab handle going inside. So again, um, out of all of the RVs, I just ordered a Superstar. So I've had a Verona for a long time, and now I'm gonna try out a Super C by Numar as well, just to compare and contrast the differences. Um, but you know, I've been in the auto industry for a really long time, and I always drive my products. So I'm interested to see the difference bet between those two. But after about eight months, I'll tell you, um, I'm probably going to put an order in for a new air. I have to keep my RV for at least 12 months, but if it takes about four months to order one, I think this will be my next RV. I just love it. Um, I love the screen door, which opens and closes all the way. Again, these big, beautiful glass windows, just absolutely decadent. Stairs retract. And then look at this beautiful amount of coverage. So all of this you've got led lights here again these also have led lights so if i wanted to have my awning retracted i could do that 
but still have illumination outside of the window so I could see kind of what's going on. Really like that feature. And let's see if we can get this to, there's one. Oh, there we go. And let's go to channel one. There we go. So we'll pull these in. Now, uh, again, 90 gallon fuel capacity. Uh, you've got a fill station here. And then right here, uh-oh, better unlock my doors. Now, once again, if I had this program to my phone, I could unlock my phone, my doors with my phone. Now, one of the reasons that that happens is anytime I engage this RV into drive, it will automatically lock my doors. So I won't be driving down the road with them flying open, but take a look at this. Can I reach it? I can. I love this uh, Dometic smart design on this little slide that, so instead of being, you know, a lot of times we have them juxtaposed and this is going to give you a lot more uh, compact storage space. It can either be a freezer or a refrigerator, uh, but what's nice about it, it doesn't need ice. So I really like that. Um, slam latches. Uh, a lot of times people say, why is it so hard to close uh, Numar's uh, baggage doors? Because we don't want water uh, or debris coming into your baggage compartments. Uh, so this little bad boy is 13 inches by 58. Little power slide. I'm going to have three of these. One is 13 inches wide, one is 31 inches wide, and one is 36 inches wide. So for those of those, those of you looking for those specs, and this is where we'll find the other two. So on the right, 31 inches, on the left, 36 inches. And I know we mentioned that porcelain tile. There are some extra pieces right here um, of that beautiful tile. So if you do break a tile, we do supply you with additional tile. And these are going to have a thousand pound towing capa or sorry, weight capacity. And on the left hand side, you'll see those are all the hoses for your central vac system. Uh, so all of that nice and easily accessible. Um, another Bose soundbar, another Samsung TV, two more outlets out here in addition to the two running the TV and the soundbar. So plenty of room to plug things in. All of these bays are illuminated by um, LED light strips. So really nice feature there. There we go. And then I love this. What a great compartment to make margaritas in. 110 outlets. Oh, who needs all those fuses? I just, there's the margarita station. Perfect for outdoor dining. Uh, this would be a great place. We have a lot of fire bands in Colorado. You can put an Outlander barbecue in here or uh, Outlander fire pit. That'd be a great place for that grill. And then here are chassis batteries. Uh-oh. There we go. And then uh, to turn your chassis on and off, a really simple switch right here on the exterior. So when it's time to store, turn things off for the winter, maybe for the summer, who knows when it's hot out. Maybe you want to go camping when it's nice and cool like in Florida. Um, I love this here, so I always jump back, um, but this is where you'll find again that L9, this is going to be an 8.9 liter Cummins engine, everything in red is Cummins, everything in black is Freightliner. Uh, at the beginning of last week, last Monday, I did a video on the King Air, this is a little bit bigger on the King Air, but as a little sister, she gets one too, um, and then on the right hand side here, you'll note this is uh, your Oasis juice. So if you mention uh, to me that you bought this RV and that you've been watching my videos, let me know. I will provide you with a free uh, jug of Oasis juice. That's an important thing to have. Um, with hydronic heat, you've got tankless hot water heater, right? So you've got endless hot water. If you're plugged into city water and sewer and a 50 amp service, unless you don't have aqua hot juice. You need to make sure you have that hydronic fluid, so don't leave home without it. It's really hard to get Amazon to deliver it to you. It takes a few days. You're just much better off always carrying a, a gallon with you. And we carry that here at TransWest. Um, now I know we mentioned our airline right here, but so this is that brake sink. Here's your trailer plug. Again, this is a 10,000 pound uh, towing capacity, 1,250 foot pounds of torque, nice hefty unit. 
great for flat towing anything. 450 horsepower on the Freightliner custom chassis. Uh, and then here's our radiator. But just to the left of our radiator, I want to show you. So um, we've got a pretty cool setup on the left over here. This is our uh, video booth that you see uh, behind us. We do make a video every Monday. But to the left of that, you'll see we have a campground. So we have this campground here. We also have another one behind our chassis service building for boondocking. Uh, so this all has 50 amp behind the chassis building. You could boondock. It's a little bit quieter, not quite off of the main drag. Uh, but it's really important to mention. So you come in here, you meet with Gary Mavellan, you meet with Tim Frank, you meet with uh, Bill Habercorn, and you get your walkthrough. So we do a two and a half hour, three hour walkthrough. We do, th we do three a day, five days a week, two on Saturdays. But then you can camp afterwards. You can get your sea legs on, make sure you really understand how to use your RV before you hit the open road. And if you have any questions, we give you this number to Bill Habercorn. So not only do you have Numar, but you have a, a deploy here, uh, me first and foremost. Uh, but secondly, if I'm not able to answer the questions, Bill Habercorn answers the phone and it's all he's paid to do is to answer and troubleshoot questions for people while they're on the road so they can keep camping comfortably. It's really a, an amazing uh, aspect of buying an RV from TransWest. Not to mention that we are a Spartan, elite, and uh, Freightliner service center. So our whole chassis service is here on premise as well as Winnebago, Newmar, and uh, and, and Renegade. So we have three house services that are completely, that we carry here, but having that chassis service and house service all in one location is only done three times in the entire country, and we're in the middle of the country. So if you want to integrate your service appointments to see us annually, uh, a lot of people do that. We've got washers and dryers on facility. Uh, we're really equipped to make sure that this is a really great launch point for your new camping experience. Um, okay, so back to this again, radiator. Uh, here's that 15 gallon def tank so really nice def tank here um, more than enough i mean with dual fill you could fill up your fuel on one side you can come fill up your def tank and, and get it all done every time you stop you might not ever need to really fill up the whole way but i love uh, this closet so we have the SantaCon system uh, which is great we have um, our hot and uh, cold shower outside which is really nice as you can see, everything is very clearly labeled. Now we have a power water hose reel as well, and we also have a whole house water filter. Um, so with the SantaCon system, um, it really makes everything pretty simple, and it gives you a lot less uh, in terms of uh, storage. You don't need to carry a big hose. It's much more petite. Uh, here we have that again. Oasis hydronic heating system and this is a dual loop system that is new for 2022. We have a 50 foot power cord as well with 50 amp service and then this is our inner vac and you could attach those hoses out here as well so you could also uh, vacuum clean like your paddle boards off or maybe the rugs before you um, you know put everything back inside maybe the kids maybe the dogs vacuum whatever you'd like all right here from outside super handy Uh, I love this compartment. It doesn't actually have a slide in it, which is really nice. It doesn't have a tray. Great place to keep lawn chairs, maybe golf clubs, who knows. And then you'll notice we have our inverter over here on the left, so really great access to everything. Very easy for the technicians to get to. Um, this RV is just really, really well executed. And this is one of the reasons. Um, this little RV is one of my favorites that we offer in the Numar lineup. We just saw inside there. Uh, here we go. We've got our eight house batteries in here as well and of course those are right next to our inverter and this little storage compartment you could keep a hose in there i don't know what you keep gloves maybe that'd probably be a good thing to keep inside there keep your aqua hot juice <laughs> so pretty awesome here's that second side of the dual fill again 90 gallon uh, fuel tank and then here in the front All of our fuses. So everything is right here in the front. And then that's going to give us access to our generator. And then there's that air valve. 
And then here's the water hose. So hot water, here's your air horn, windshield washer fluid, and then there's that air hose. So if you wanted to be able to fill up all of your tires uh, from, the, from the RV, it's right here. And then here's your 10 kilowatt Onan uh, generator. Of course, uh, we all know Cummins tends to make almost all of the generators available in the open market. Um, but I just love that. We've got a new glowy badge for the front for 2022. Again, if you're looking to reference uh, this stock number, it's 5N210629. I did already sell her, um, sadly enough. I am in love. But again, with 360 camera, mobile eye, all of the wonderful advantages that you have in this RV, I can think of not anything better to take your family out camping. Again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. 303-562-8659. Eight six five nine. I hope I've helped to illuminate some of the wonderful features of this 2022 uh, new air. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll look forward to seeing you next Monday at 1030.